Hello there, survivors, and welcome back to another build tutorial in Ark Survival Ascended. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to build this log cabin that I designed. I really like the look of this. I like all the details on the roof. Uh, and I think it's a perfect build to get you started because the materials used is mostly wood and stone. So not too difficult to get relatively early on. But it is also big enough that it can last you a little bit longer plenty of space for storage for the bigger crafting structures as well as some of your teams as well so you're good to go and ready to survive now if you enjoyed these build tutorials and you want to continue to seeing more of course don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel that really helps me out a lot already and if you want to show even more support consider becoming a youtube member tier 2 members actually get early access to all the videos that i post with that out of the way let's get to building of course we need to get started with the foundation and i've already built one of the sides but of course i will show you everything you need to do starting with the side of the building that's going to be seven wide in total but instead of just building it in a straight line on this side at least we're going to go in by one then we switch to the quarter foundations and place one row like so then we can actually snap ceilings to it make sure you have the right location two ceilings here in the middle so that's the middle of our uh, wall here or our foundation here then we have two quarter foundations again and then we can finish it off with two normal ones so in total this is a length of seven and the reason why we've got this weird construction on this side is that on this side we'll actually have a gate right here and in this way it actually is in the middle of this wall since it's an uneven number of foundations okay then on this side what you do and that's the same as the other side you go in by four so in total this will be five now because of course we already had the corner and then here we'll add two so this wall is now or this foundation is now four and then this one is two. And of course, we have the connecting piece in the corner there. Then this front foundation, we're going to make five long. So we'll add four to it. So it's five in total. And then we'll go back in by two and add four here to the end. And then here we can go across by seven in total just to line it all up. Unless, of course, you also want to have a gate on this side. Then you do the same thing as we did on the other side. And now we have the foundation. We can fill it in all the way because this is going to be the first floor of our house. So yeah, just nice and easy. Make sure that it's all foundations. And I've chosen stone for this. Of course, it's a little bit stronger than using wood. Also, I think it just looks nice. It's a little bit of contrast with the uh, mostly log cabin that we're going to be building on top anyway. So yeah, we'll just fill it all in until we have a nice foundation going on like so then of course here where we have our gate we want to make this look a little bit nicer so what i like to do is either go for slopes or maybe some stairs whatever you prefer to just add those underneath and then of course we want to have the sloped wall on the side to close it off and even we can add some railings if you like to to really make those stairs look a little bit nicer and then i like to go around with some beams along these sides here on this side it depends whether you have overlapping if you do overlap them into these beams and then don't have any beams inside of the gate of course if you do not have overlapping enabled and you can't place this one uh just end it here and make the pillar go down over there and then for most of this build we'll just go around with the beams here we'll leave it open because we'll have a door there and then we'll continue the beams all the way across the side of our foundation just to make it stand out a little bit more it looks a little bit nicer in my opinion and uh, yeah it's just a nice and easy way to add some detail then on this side actually want to also leave open the middle one because we're going to have another door there and then the rest we can just all connect up with these beams then we can go to pillars and have some pillars in the corners and then always also here wherever we have a corner to make some nice supports for this whole foundation that we've built i always like the look of that and yeah it just looks 
a little bit more detailed than having the very flat walls and surfaces. Also, of course, depends a little bit on how much it sticks out of the ground. The higher it is above the, the ground, of course, the more you see this. So the more it actually adds some detail to it. But yeah, that is our foundation to get going with this build. Now, depending on your landscape here in this corner of the build, uh, you could add a little workshop of a three by four. So to the end, basically, of this foundation. But as you can see here for me, this doesn't work. If it doesn't work, you can also, of course, just build it out of ceilings. And if you're building it out of ceilings, I probably would go for the wood ceilings. That just looks a little bit nicer as a proper back porch. But again, that is totally up to your preference and, of course, your landscape. And then to finish this little back porch, we want to make sure that we have some stairs leading off from it. Just these twos. And then, of course, if you didn't use foundations, but even if you did use foundations to add some details, we'll have some pillars here on the corners like so, just to add a little bit of support in. And then, of course, we can add in some railings around this porch just to make it all nice and secure. Uh, and of course, along the stairs as well. Okay, then we're going to get started here at the, the front of the house, or at least this side of the house. The front really depends on what you want to make the front, I suppose. We'll have two windows right there in the middle of those four. And we'll do the same here on the other side as well. Then we'll have normal walls just filling in all these spots so that we get this stone accent wall going on. Then here in the middle, of course, we want to add in those double doors so that we have a nice entrance. And then we'll have some normal stone walls again next to it all. Then it's time to add some more pillars. We'll have one here on the corner. We'll have two next to the door and another one there on the corner. We'll connect it here in this corner and on those corners as well. So basically pillars every corner. And then we can take out our doors and add them in right here. And of course, we want to add in the windows as well to the window frames that we build. Now, if you do have the Frontier Pack, this is what I would do. Change them into the glass textures because they look really, really good. If you do not have that, unfortunately, of course, that is not an option. So you'll have to stay with uh, just a normal uh, hatch frame in the windows as normal. And then here on the front, we actually want to turn these walls into these nice looking windows from the Frontier Pack as well. If you do not have them, you could use um, maybe the greenhouse glass walls or you can look for some other custom cosmetics that are approved and free to use that are similar to these windows or just any windows because there are multiple different ones out there. And then depending on your landscape, you might want to add in a staircase right here. And of course, make it look nice with the sloped walls on the side and adding in some railings as well to make it look properly good so that you have a nice front wall here. So that's the first wall on this side done. Then we're actually going to start on the uh, like balcony slash porch that we have going on on this side. We want to start out by placing in some uh, ceilings right like so, creating our big and nice porch we want to do that on both sides of the building there we go i've got a tree in the way and then it's time to take out some triangle ceilings we want to start right here so uh two from the side and start by connecting these triangles up all the way across the front until we reach the other side and again we'll go out by two and then we'll extend this with another layer of triangles in the front just to get a little bit of a nicer shape to this whole front porch which is quite extensive as you can see in size so you definitely have plenty of room then we want to take out a staircase right here we'll take out some of our quarter walls and then we'll go for every corner we'll place one down just because that is going to make us be able to do a little bit of a nicer design for the railing so yeah on every corner we want to have one then we can take out our thin pillars and actually snap them to these quarter walls that we've just placed so they stick up by half above the platform that we've created and then after we've placed them we can take out these quarter walls again 
they will uh, not destroy the pillars and this will allow you to have some some pillars sticking up just above the railings basically and then of course below we want to connect them all the way down into the ground so that they're not floating anymore um so like this and then basically we'll go all the way around until we've done it for all of them here at the staircase it depends a little bit on your landscape but most likely you'll have to add some extra pillars here because we'll have to make a turn so another triangle right there then we can connect another staircase to it leading off down into the ground this will depend of course a little bit on your landscape how it's going to look like and then we'll add another pillar underneath the triangle just to make it all look nice and then we can add railing next to the whole staircase leading up to our platform of course to make it nice and safe and we can add the railings across all of this porch as well and now you can see those uh, pillars that we placed they stick out quite nicely with the railing and uh, yeah i really like the way that that looks um, looks a little bit more special and since we do not have any half pillars this is the best way to still get that result without running into too much trouble and then we'll have a nice little front porch like this then it's time to start another wall we're going to start with this one right here on the end we're going to start with a quarter wall piece right there and right over here and then the alternate version on top so that it should align perfectly with a wooden wall like so we'll have a proper wooden wall go all the way to the end as you can see then what we want to do is we actually want to change these twos into windows again again if you do not have the bob tall tales pack the dlc you can just use uh, greenhouse glass or another custom cosmetic that lets you make some windows and we want to add the pillars next to the windows and in the corners of the wall then here we just want to place down two walls and here on the other side of course we want to do the same thing we've just done so we start out with these quarter walls then we snap the walls into the right places in between and we build our window right there before adding in our pillars in these spots as well and then we can add in this wall okay and then here in the front we want to start out by adding double doors here on the corner of the walls then we want to go in by one quarter wall on both sides and then the alternative version on top and this is where we're going to make a slightly bigger window so two walls in the middle going up by three and then ending up in the shape of the roof then we can extend them like so adding in the rest of the walls and then this is going to be the front of our building here instantly then these ones we're all going to change to window cosmetics including the ones here at the top because they will turn into those nice windows shaped as well the slope walls and then we'll have a shape like this going on before adding in pillars right here next to the window and of course in the corner again and then we want to take out our beams and add them underneath those window parts as well and connect them right here above the door so we'll have a wall here in the front that's going to look like this and of course we don't want to forget to add in the doors as well so all that makes for a pretty nice front side or back side depends on what you want to see as the front of our building all right then we'll start here on the wall of the side building where we have the gate so we'll go up by two here on the corners on both sides like so and then we'll grab our quarter walls starting in here at the bottom of each of these walls with the normal variation before going to the alternative to fill in the gaps and making sure they align nicely with the wall pieces that we have so far then we can actually make pillars go up and we want to make them go up two higher than the gate so both sides just to fill in the little gaps between the gate and the wall and go two higher than the actual gate itself we can also fill in the corner over here with some pillars too high because that's where it's going to start then we'll take out the window right here on both sides of the gate with a little door right next to it as well 
before we go into the sloped walls we can fill them in like this and then of course fill in the remaining pieces here with normal walls as well before finishing this whole shape of the roof like this and again here in the middle we're going to change that to windows so that it should look like this and then of course we're going to add in the doors and uh, windows here as well and the windows we want to change to the frontier skin if you have that because that looks a lot nicer as a window in my opinion and then we want to take out our triangle ceilings and get a little balcony going on both sides like this just so you can enjoy the view a little bit here and then we'll have some railings of course around that balcony as well and then we'll take out wooden beams. We'll make a beam going across. I wouldn't add one where the door is, but of course we can add one underneath the window. So like this, just because that looks a little bit more supported. And then it's time to start on the walls on this side of the building. We want to start with some normal walls right there here in the corner. And then we'll take out our quarter walls starting right from this corner, going all the way across the bottom here. And of course connecting at the bottom of this second wall before switching to the other variation and filling in these little gaps then here we'll have to alternate so first the alternate version then the normal version and then and then the alternate version again and then the alternate version actually can go all the way across the top here and then in the middle we want to fill it in with walls they won't properly connect but that's all right because that's going to be windows anyway. And then, of course, we want to add in some beams across the bottom and top of these windows. And along the side of it like this as well. So that they are properly supported like this. Before adding in another pillar here in the corner, of course. And we're going to repeat that one more time. So we start out by two normal walls. Then we'll go across the whole bottom with this first variation. Fill in one over there. Go to the alternative and fill in those two gaps. We can connect these all the way to the other side above this one. And then go back to the original to fill that in. And then have two walls here in the middle. Change those to windows. And then of course have pillars next to the windows and in this corner and there and then this corner as well of course before adding beams above and below the window then here on this side we can just fill in the wall too high like so on this side however we'll have to do it like this before adding a door frame right there with a door to get out to a little workshop that we're building here on the side and of course, we can add in some pillars at the end of this wall as well. And then the last big wall remains over here. We're going to go too high with the walls here in the corner before adding in our quarter walls like so. Going to the alternative version, filling them in like this. And then we can fill in the middle of this wall with two normal walls that go up this high. And that is the start of our roof. We're going to expand it like so. And then we can add in the slope walls all the way to the top to get the roof shape in there. We can add in some uh, pillars alongside this middle part and then having them go out from here as well to the sides. This middle part is going to be one big window so that we have a nice place where we can actually properly enjoy the views from our base and here on this side we can actually start quite easily by filling in this entire wall just with normal walls before turning the two on the side into a big window and then on this side here as well and of course we want to have some pillars to uh, flank those windows and make them stand out a little bit more then it's time to start with our quarter ceilings here and we want to fill in a little edge around our building that we've got going on so far so basically along the walls in this corner we want to have that little ledge and then we'll make another one here of course on this side as well should line up with the roof shape that we've already established on these sides so we'll do that here as well connecting them up 
in these corners. And yeah, if we build everything correctly, it should all line up with the existing walls that we've made. So it's a good check to see if you've done it all right. So first, we want to start with the sloped walls here on the corner, lining them up with those newly added quarter ceilings. And then you should be able to go all the way across with normal walls. And we'll add in some beams along the bottom of this layer and along the top of this layer as well. Then we'll start off with our sloped walls again in those corners, of course. Then we can take out the beams next to those because this is where we're going to have some doors to a balcony that we're adding on this side. So right like this. And then, of course, we can add in some normal walls here in the middle being too high and then we should be able to finish the rest of our roof shape. These are going to be windows again, so that you still have a little nice view up here. And then, of course, you can fill in these pillars and connect them going down like that. OK, then it's finally time to start on the roof. And we want to make sure that those little uh, quarter ceilings that we placed, we line it up with those. Now, if you have issues snapping to them, you can try first removing the sloped wall placing the roof and then placing the slope wall again sometimes that helps a little bit we'll place two of them right here like so before we can start making our corner for the roof right there as you can see this is where we want to have a corner going on and then we can expand this roof all the way so that we have that little overlap on the end which just makes your buildings look a whole lot nicer then before we continue the roof we want to add in two windows right there and then of course have slope walls on top of them and don't forget to add in the actual windows and again as with all the windows changing them to these ones because that looks a little bit nicer as well and i like to add in some pillars here on the side of those just makes it a little easier to do that straight away because then you'll never forget where they need to be and you don't have to place roofs that you don't need in the end. Then here we want to start with the same shape for the roof as we did on the other side. Making this little corner first. And then of course we can do the same thing here on this side. So we'll start by two little windows, making the nice roof shape and then adding all those details in like the windows etc the, the pillars so that we have this shape going on like so then here we can just keep going up with our roof all the way to the top and the same thing here connecting this all the way up to the top all right so and of course we can do the same for these ones and that should all meet up in similar ways and here we'll keep it open for now we will of course connect all these corners and then of course we need to make a roof for this little part so we'll start by making the corner right there we should be able to add our normal roofs to it again making it go out by two adding one down there and doing the same thing here on this side as well then we can add in a corner so that it is nicely connected to the main roof like this adding a nice little detailed roof shape let's do the same things here on the other side so first off we can continue this all the way up to to the top layer and then of course make the layer go in by one more and then continuing this all the way across so we can continue these down to meet this part of the roof and then of course here we can start filling in the roof as well making sure that they meet up where we get those nice little corner pieces to fill in the gaps like so and then of course start this shape on this side as well again we'll go out by two connect one down there do the same thing here on this side make it go down there and then of course have the corner to fill in that last little gap to get those nice little pieces and i really like the depth that is added to the roof by doing all these little inlets then this we can keep open because we're going to be building a custom chimney for this build we'll do that in a little bit 
And now we can do the same thing here on the other side, basically. Although we're going to have slightly different details. So first off, we can start with these roof going on like this. And of course, adding in a nice corner over there. And we'll actually set up the same thing here on the other side as well. Right, like so. And then it's time to start adding in those details. Again, we're going to add one window, but this time only one. And we'll do that right there. And then we'll have a small door right next to it. Because for these ones, we're actually going to make tiny, tiny balconies. And the way we do that is by adding a little ledge of quarter ceilings. You can also go full ceilings as you like. Um, but I just like the details of having them being shorter than the actual roof sticks out. So yeah, we'll have them like this we want to have in a nice railing in front now i'm not sure if this would work on official but yeah i would like to of course have the railing go in like this still have no quarter railings or half railings unfortunately but um yeah you can do this or otherwise you can just of course use a quarter wall instead if you don't like to make them stick into your walls like this and then of course don't forget to add in the doors so that we have some nice details turn these windows again with the front disc in if you have it it just looks a little bit nicer and of course add in the sloped walls on top to get the shape for this design going and then we can pretty much do what we did on the other side so make this go all the way connected to the main roof the main roof can go all the way like this and then connect it back up like so so we'll do that here as well making it go all the way down to connect with this roof go across like so and then fill in this part as well then we can make so the nice little uh, corner roofs again to make this shape going on like so filling in the details for the roof exactly the same thing as we did on the other side so making these nice little details for our roof and then we'll do the same thing here on the other side so we'll create those corners again filling in the roof pieces like so sticking them out by two before going down by one and then filling in the corners to connect it back up to the main roof design and of course over here we also want to add in some corners like so uh, here we actually need one more normal roof and then we can fill in that corner fill in this corner as well and then we should just be able to finish off the rest of this roof design like so without any issues at all there we go so yeah you can see i really love the layers on this roof um i think that looks quite nice indeed okay so we want to start our custom chimney but as you can see we can't place anything on top there so what we want to do is start out by placing the walls like so then we can remove them we can connect this wall all the way down to our foundations take out our pillars and connect them all the way up to the top like so and also make the beams going across the top as well then we can take out our walls again we want to go one above the foundation actually in this case later why and then we'll just connect this all the way up to the top of course on both sides so that we have the chimney sticking out then we also want to add in pillars to the edges of these walls just to continue the same design and we can go all the way down with these pillars and of course connect some beams across the top of those walls as well then we can take out our walls and fill in the entire thing here as well to create our chimney let's go all the way up to the top to fill in the last bit and beams across the top as well okay then we want to make sure that we have some quarter stone ceilings flip them around so that the nice clean texture is at the bottom and we want to create a little lip around this chimney that we've just started and go all the way around the edge to make this little lip 
We'll take out the quarter walls and go along the inside like so. And make sure to have the stone textures on the inside. Because, I mean, you don't want to see those crosses everywhere. And then just going around like so. And then on the outside, again, want to make sure that we have the clean texture going on. And go all the way around as well to connect our little ledge and make our custom chimney design looking a lot nicer uh, and a lot more practical because chimneys don't go this high so there we go and then of course we can fill in the top with quarter ceilings again to get this nice effect going and then about two down you want to make a little platform like so and this is where you would add the fireplaces so that you get the like fake uh, smoke effect from the top and you can add as many as you want of course to get the proper effect you can either just power them normally but if you have a pyro main and just set it so it powers uh, fire sources you can also just have that in the base and it should power it as well now we've used the frontier skins of course to make all the windows but i actually also don't mind them for the uh, pillars and stuff as well because i think they're a little bit more clean than the default pillars so if you do have them i actually prefer the design like this we'll still keep the normal wall textures but just for those um, pillars and beams and even the doors i kind of like better if they are in the frontier skin so if you have them i personally would go around changing these to the frontier skins you can see the difference in the look i just think it looks a little bit better than the default one the, the pillars here we can keep this one we can keep as well it's mostly just the wooden pillars that i don't really like the look of too much so that if you have them i would change them around for these skinned ones because yeah it just looks a little bit nicer in my opinion and then i actually also would change the skins of the roof to the frontier one because i like the color of that roof a lot more and the textures are pretty nice as well but um if you do not have the skin you could also just paint the roof like in a grayish or darker tint to get the similar same effect as this skin uh but yeah just whatever you have uh, skin might be easier of course if you have it instead of having to make all the paint and having to paint them all but uh, yeah whatever you prefer of course but i just like the look of this roof so i would change it all to this frontier skinned roof okay and then of course this side we still need to finish as well by adding in a little balcony here so first we're gonna go across like this with some ceilings and then some triangle ceilings along this edge to create a more interesting shape for adding in or railings like this as well now if you do have the frontier pack you can add in scaffolding underneath like this to make some supports for this balcony but otherwise of course you can also just add in uh slope walls like this to do pretty much the same thing but yeah the scaffolding of course is made for this specifically and then for the interior and for all these uh, ceilings, you can do whatever you prefer. I actually really like the look of this wood, so I would probably change all the floors, but I'll leave that up to you. Okay, now that we've skinned the entire roof and they look a lot nicer, what we also want to do is make sure that we have a roof over a workshop. So we want to have this snap point, which will get you from these uh, quarter ceilings that we've placed. And we want to add in a little roof over this workplace with these ramps like so then we can take some wooden pillars and have uh, one like there one in the middle and then one on that corner as well making it look like this and i would again probably change this to the frontier skin or paint it a little bit darker to match the rest of the roof that is most of the exterior done and uh, now we have a few things to take care of before we go into the interior of course you could just make up your own flooring, but yeah, there's a lot of random doors in places, so that might be difficult. First, however, we're going to fix the chimney here on the inside. We're going to make a little ledge here of quarter ceilings like so on both sides so that we have 
Just that little lip going to the inside. Then we'll take out the stone walls again and place them like this. So they're just like a half or quarter wall into the build. And there we go. We do them both sides. And now we can place our chimneys here in the middle as well. So that you don't have the smoke randomly going into your build. And uh, yeah, you can use those big chimneys still in the design for your build. Now... You're totally free to do the floors however you want, of course. But since there are a lot of doors in different places, I'll show you what I've done for the different floors of the interior. So first off, we'll start here on this side where we have the porch on the outside as well. So we'll go across here with ceiling so that you can easily connect to that porch that we have. But of course, we also have a door here in the middle. So what we do is we'll have some stairs here in the corners going up to that like in between layer and of course we'll add in our railings as well and then we'll have another staircase here in the middle going up to the actual next layer of the build so this is where your next layer would actually start right here uh, we'll continue that in a little bit then for some details we want to add in some of these uh, quarter walls so that we can snap our thin pillars here to these corners and we probably want to do the same right here and then of course we can remove the walls again after we've snapped our thin pillars and then what you want to do is snap normal stone pillars underneath them because it looks a little bit more supported and for these one first of all we want to make them go down a little bit further before we add in those pillars underneath because that looks a little bit nicer but of course feel free to do, use normal wooden pillars all the way and then we can fill in the railings for the rest of this part up to there and then of course here you probably want to make sure that it goes at least like that if you can so that you don't have that little weird looking gap but yeah that is the staircase on this side of the build on the other side we also of course have the big window that we do not want to block so what we'll do is we'll add some ceilings right here in the corners so we'll have stairs going up from the middle like so so that you do not block the window too much and you can still enjoy it as much as possible and then here we'll have stairs going up again like this towards again where the proper next floor is going to start like so and then similar as on the other side we want to snap in some of our uh quarter walls so that we can have a little pillars snap to those and of course here we want to actually make sure that the pillars go too deep and then remove those quarter walls again because we do not need them anymore and then we can have the stone pillars underneath them. Of course, you don't need all these pillars, so you can leave them out if you do not like the look of it. And then afterwards, we can add in the railing for our stairs here on this side as well, making sure it's all safe and sound for this side too. Now we can start connecting this a little bit. So like this, we'll have a little ledge around the chimney free, as you can see, but more on that later. And then here on this side, we uh, at least want to make sure that we have these two wide going all the way to the doors that we've made. And we want to keep some space here because obviously we've got the gate, so we do not want to interfere with that too much. And then here we want to add one more so that we have three ceilings from the uh, wall basically until we have this layer of the build. And then of course here we want to fill in the gap with some quarter ceilings so that we do not have to overlap anything like so going all the way going all the way around our custom chimney. And then here what I like to do is again have some pillars, at least on these corners. I think that looks nice uh, to add in some supports and it's not in the way too much. Just adds a little bit of detail to the whole room. And then of course we want to have railings across this all the way so that you don't just fall off all the time. Now, the only thing, of course, is this little door. How do you access that uh, without blocking too much of this little walkway? So what you want to do is add some ceilings first and then some triangle ceilings to connect to it. 
so that you can have a staircase going down like so now you've got two options you can just go on like this having in the railings and nothing else or if you prefer you can also make a little room out of this but for now i will just go for a little platform so basically you have this little platform where yeah you could turn it into a room for like if you have multiple people living here someone's bedroom is here and they have their own private little balcony and you can still easily walk through underneath it as well you could add some scaffolding underneath this but that will limit how much of course space you will have left there okay then we come to the other side of the build where we still have uh, some room open there we want to make sure that from the chimney you have the quarter ceilings then you have one layer of ceilings already we want to make sure that we have another layer of ceilings before we cross it all over with some uh railings so that we do not fall all the way down um, like so and in this case you could just make sure that you connect that bit so that it looks less awkward on that side i suppose okay and then we're gonna make a big bedroom up here what we want to do is we want to make sure that we get the snap point here from these windows that we've added and the doors on the other side so yeah we want to go across like that then we'll have a tiny little gap left that we want to fill in with some quarter ceilings here at the edge that is connected to the little balcony that we have which can also serve as the parking for some of your flyers so you have easy access instantly into your bedroom as well then we can have some stairs leading up from there and there so that we will actually be able to enter this room we'll have some doors there as well and then we can just fill in the rest of this shape so that we can have a nice wall dividing this bedroom from the rest of the build there we go we'll add some doors in and then of course we want to have some railings next to your stairs so it's a little bit more safe and then we'll have a beam going across here the bottom so that it looks a little bit more supported as well as some of these pillars because obviously otherwise it kind of looks like the whole structure is floating a little bit and again if you did like the frontier skins that you have them i would personally change these beams as well to match all the other ones that we've used so far and then yeah there you go you've got a little room here as well to use and then we have this whole layer what i would personally also do is add some chimneys but then on this side so facing the window here on this side and facing the window on that side just to make it all nice and cozy and especially if you're already all powering all the other fireplaces with the power main this just means that you have even more to make it look nice and then if you don't want the smoke inside of your building what you can actually do by placing them is removing these walls at first placing the chimney a little bit over the edge and this might take a couple of attempts to get it right and then we can place the walls back and then it doesn't have that much smoke going into your normal room and again this is a little bit of trial and error before you get it right and it looks the nicest but yeah this is the way i would design the interior so that is also still quite interesting to look at on the inside as well and that is my design for this log cabin. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let's go for a little tour of the decorated one that I built before. So yeah, we'll go on a quick tour of this log cabin. As you can see, I used some of the pots and shovels to get some plants out here. Those are all part of the Bob Tall Tales DLC. I've mentioned that a lot. I definitely think if you enjoy building, the DLC is worth getting. Uh, so yeah, we got so there's some of those and then for the rest you can see the design that we've just made. And then this workshop is where I would have some of your plans. And yeah, besides having the plans out here, you could also of course park some of your tames here instead. Or maybe have your crafting tables out here because you like to have a view whilst you're at work. Then we go to the inside. As you can see, you can actually fit the industrial forge in this bit that is open. It's also convenient because this is where the dino gate is. So you can bring in your ankies and stuff to drop off the materials. I have overlapped it a little bit with the ceilings above. You could also, of course, take out another row of ceilings to give yourself a little bit more space. Then I've got some feeding troughs. This is the, the dino area after all. We've got some storage instantly. 
and some some fridge for some kibble or whatever and of course the cryo fridge so that you have everything dino related right here at the entrance then we've got more storage here hidden under the staircases as well this is the big crafting area over here on this side with all the crafting stations and then as you can see under all the staircases i've hidden more storage to make the most of it this is the access to our little uh yeah walkway a little balcony i guess with a teleporter if you have it of course i just use that to connect all my bases quite easily um yeah that's the first layer and then the second layer here you can see the top of the industrial forge got my grill against it my little fridge for my food the cooker is here generator these are those uh, fireplaces in woven into the wall basically and then here you have some space for artifacts stuff like that um then we have this little balcony as you can see a little bedroom up here we got a little toilet even there this is with scaffolding but as you can see it does really limit the room that you have left and then some more decorative storage a little lounge area a map here on this wall on the chimney walls and then we got a bigger bedroom right here with some bunk beds with some more sofas some more storage a personal cryo fridge piano and then of course we have the tiny balconies as well that you can reach and the bigger balcony here on the side so yeah that is my lock cabin design hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let me know what future tutorials you would like to see goodbye